Hi guys, it's Gloria, Chief Yummy Shiny, and it's the weekend. I know this is supposed to be on Friday. Sorry, it's Saturday. Uh, I'm having a, a hard time figuring out exactly the sort of schedule I want to do. I am hydrating. Um, yes, I own stainless steel straws. Um, I need to get a little case so I can carry one with me. I know that sounds weird uh, because I really hate using plastic straws for various reasons, mainly because... Um, they're not biodegradable and they're throwaway and you think about how many straws get thrown away it's wasteful and it's in the landfills and it doesn't degrade and la 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 so let me get started because i just turned off the air conditioner it's actually getting really hot in here really fast i don't have the fan on or the air conditioner because it's very loud and it's hard for you guys to hear if i do that i have been without my uh, airbrush uh, makeup for a few months um, and normally for work, since I work on TV, I like to airbrush my makeup and, uh, it's fast. It's a lot less expensive in the long run makeup wise. Um, it stays a long time and has great coverage, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but it was broken. I thought it was the compressor. It wasn't, um, the temp to this, I guess the newer compressors, even though it's the smaller ones, they're actually quite good, and this one's lasting me a while, so I'm happy. I thought it was the compressor. What it was was my gun. Uh, there was a piece missing, and I don't know how that happened, but I um, found a used one. I bought a new one, and before I opened it, I uh, found a used one on eBay. Someone had um, kind of, you know, uh, damaged the, the nozzle, which is a little, you know, I mean, you know, and if you don't use it all the time, whatever. So I bought it for parts and I bought the, and so I, I got, I pulled the part off and it cost me a fraction of buying a new one. So I was really excited anyway. So this is the temp to SP 40. I don't think that you're going to be able to read that, but that is the gun that I use uh, because this uh, compressor was originally for the pods and I don't want to use the pods. I find them. I mean, I know a lot of people love them. I just think they're a little wasteful and I like mixing my own right now though. I got really lucky. They, just came out with a brand new makeup, brand new. Uh, this is the temp to, what are they calling it? It's the 24 hour Hydra Lock airbrush foundation. Um, so I got a little one just to make sure, cause I know it's a light coverage, buildable, but light coverage, which I can work around as long as it's a good, you know, light coverage because I can always layer, I can, um, uh, use uh, different powders and I can use obviously concealer and things like that and it should make up for the difference the reason I was really there are two reasons I was really interested in this one because I was like trying new products two because every time they come out with uh, a, a new product the technology the the formulation is even better and I'm sure the finish on this is wonderful it's also a semi matte finish unlike the SB which is um, it is silicone based. I'm assuming this is silicone based as well. Maybe it's not actually, but the silicone based one um, is a very dewy finish, which is hard to work with on television. It's gorgeous, but I have to constantly pull, you know, any excess oil off because it does get shiny very quickly, but it lasts a really long time, especially if I powder below it and then air, and then airbrush on top of it, I will have a good 16 hours. This is supposed to have, I believe, <laughs> almost 24 hour wear, which for someone who works make a, a television, especially as we go into the fall and then eventually the winter season, we start getting storms. And there are times where I'll work. I mean, I have been known to work a 16 hour day, which is rough, but what's really rough is keeping your makeup on for 16 hours. Um, if I can get my foundation to stay without having to touch it up very much at all for 24 hours. That's amazing. And it is worth it um, for me to try it. And it's not very expensive. I know this seems like the tiniest little bit of foundation. Uh, I want to say it's $15. But the thing is that you just use a, a tiny bit because you're airbrushing a layer over you. So I will shut up because I've been talking a lot. I'm really excited. Not to mention I haven't used my airbrush gun in well, months. The whole time I thought it was the compressor and it was the gun. I'm an idiot. I really need to start 
you know, if I, because I, the gun cost far less than the compressor. Even having to buy a brand new gun, it, it was far less than a compressor would cost. So, um, and now I can take back the new gun since I got the spare broken down gun, not broken, but gun that I'm going to use for parts. So <laughs> I'm happy. Okay. I have absolutely no makeup at all on my face. I have no powder. I have no, um, um, concealer. I have no primer. I have nothing. I have, uh, my face is primed because I have a uh, moisturizer on it, but that's it. That's all I have on my face. I have nothing else on my face. And so the reason I'm doing this is because I want to see what the coverage is on its own. So let's find out. It's going to be a little loud. So I'll fast forward through most of this so you don't have to hear it. Okay. All right, so quick thoughts. First of all, this is way lighter than the SB. Um, it's taking me a little bit to get used to uh, how it's spraying out of the gun because I'm used to a thicker formula. This is very light. This is almost like water. Um, and I can feel the difference, and I can feel the difference in the way that the gun is, 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 is shooting it out. Um, I can tell I'm going to have to actually keep this on a fairly low compression. Um, just so that I can slow down how fast it goes out and give myself a, a more even coverage because um, it's shooting out really fast. But so far, so good. Tiny bit more, just to make up for the fact that I have no concealer on. So a couple more drops to cover up this rosacea that I've got right here and maybe a little bit under my eyes. First impression, um, it is a little darker than my natural color skin, which is actually perfect for on air. I always go maybe a shade darker uh, for when I work on air because the lights really, really wash you out. I don't like getting orange skin dark, but a little darker is perfectly okay. Um, first thoughts, it is very light. It is a light coverage, but having said that, it builds really beautifully. Um, now, I haven't covered up any of my uh, larger pores, and I haven't gotten anything underneath that. I haven't powdered, I haven't blended, I haven't done anything. Uh, no concealer, as I said before. So let me get in a little closer. Okay, apparently someone's in a hurry out there. But, so, it covers up imperfections pretty well. Um, color wise, um, it did really well underneath my eyes. It covered up the rosacea fairly well. Obviously it's very difficult to cover up something like um, any scarring that I've got here from when I was a teen and I had acne. Uh, that, you know, that is, um, that's difficult to cover, but it does a really gorgeous job. It has a really beautiful, smooth, semi-matte finish. Um, it is entirely different than the SB. Um, the SB is definitely a lot dewier and a lot heavier. And had I put this much SB on, I gotta say, it would have looked a little cakier. And I am starting to sweat, so I do apologize. It is changing the way that it looks a little bit. Uh, but I'm really impressed so far. And considering, I think I have to tweak the gun a little bit. Um, it, it's sitting in there a little funny, so I have to go in there and fix this. Uh, something is a little weird with it, so I'll fix it. But it's shooting a little funny, and, and that's fine. I can fix that. But um, it comes out a lot faster than I'm used to, so there's that. Uh, but outside of that, um, it's good. I really like this. The Hydro Lock, the new, the new Temptu Hydro Lock 24-hour foundation. This is awesome. This is the number seven, just to reiterate. So this is the number seven shade. Again, a little darker than my natural color, my natural skin tone, but it is the same sort of uh, semi-yellow, semi-neutral, semi-olive. It's a, it's a really good color for me, especially for on air. Like if I were to wear this every day, I would actually lighten this up with a lighter color uh, and make it a, a shade lighter, and that would actually work best. So first impressions, this is great. 
I can't wait to use this at work. This is amazing because if it stays, and this is with no prepping at all. This is with nothing with it. Nothing is added to it. It's only the foundation. So if this is what it looks like with just a foundation, I have a feeling it's going to look beautiful whenever I, you know, start doing, you know, when I use the uh, a primer on the pores and then, um, concealer and stuff so I can like very lightly put this over it it's pretty and Temtu uh, did a good job with their latest product this is awesome I'm excited I can't wait to see how long it lasts it's supposed to last like I said I think it's almost 24 hours so I'm excited to test the boundaries of that I will do that later this week that's something I'll do at the end of the week I'll show you uh, oh I'm going to be at a convention next weekend um, in Rockville, Maryland, and uh, I'll most likely be interviewing a couple of um, uh, stars. That'll be really interesting. One of them is Alex Kingston. I, if I can get an interview with her, I will be a happy lady. Mm -hmm. And I have to look flawless. So I will be playing with this, and I will tell you just how long it lasts, because I tend to stay awake a very long time at these conventions without a lot of... Um, without a lot of uh, uh, sleep. So yeah, I'll be at Intervention Convention in Rockville, Maryland next weekend. Um, and uh, no, I don't dress up. I, I'm, I'm, I don't do the cosplaying or anything like that. I, I like a good costume on Halloween or, or uh, um, something like that, or like a, a costume party, but I never go to them. Go figure. Okay, so Try it. If you have a Temptu gun, if you have a Temptu airbrush gun and you're thinking about the Hydrolock, I like it. You should try it. I'm happy with it. And it stays matte even though I'm sweating. It is staying semi-matte. This is without any powdering. I'm impressed. 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 Thank you, Temptu. You made me happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. And by the way, the Temptu New York City showroom people are really lovely. I love them. I've never had anything but positive experiences with Temptu customer service, both the LA showroom uh, whenever I've had to call um, and then the New York showroom when I've gone in and I've done classes there too. So I love it um, and I'm excited to use this for work and play. So I hope you're having a good weekend. It looks like it's going to be summer's last hurrah up here in the little Northeast. So it'll start really cooling down after this weekend um and then i hope it stays that way when then we and then i hope it stays autumn for a long time you hear me autumn you hear me hear me mother nature come on do a girl a favor give her a long autumn this year a long autumn a long gorgeous beautiful crispy autumn i love autumn can you tell <laughs> okay Thank you very much. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on WordPress, and of course, on uh, YouTube. TPM is shiny. Love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like the video, share if you can so that people see this. Do a girl a favor, Mother Nature, and you. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you, on you.